So uh, I'm happy to share with you the, the story we have had in the Viki Food Design Factory here in, in, in Viki, uh, which is the name of the campus area of the University of Helsinki. So we have uh, four campuses in Helsinki and uh, Viki is the one with all life sciences and, and also my faculty, uh, agriculture and forestry. And uh, we have now, it's exactly one year from the launch of the Viki food design factory. But of course, we started planning and um, also piloting well before, but uh, we had the inauguration exactly one year ago. And the, the design factory is, is part of the big network of design factories. And of course, it includes other aspects. Uh, than educational aspects. So it's also an incubator uh, for uh, joining our researchers and companies and investors. But I will be concentrating on the parts that are associated with uh, students and curricula. So uh, why we started the whole process? like two or three years ago, uh, we the driver number one was the pressure from the students. We started uh, renewing our degree programs and our curricula, and we did some uh, foresight work and workshops with our students. Uh, we received comments from the students like, uh, we need a uh, help for practical business, advice on how to unleash our creative madness, not just theory, but working keys for the budding entrepreneur. Uh, also, practical and participatory teaching uh, was uh, perceived important by the students and they wanted opportunities for cooperation, teas 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 for cooperation. We started with uh, asking the uh, asking the student feedback. Uh, in the work that we did with students, we uh, received kind of uh, four areas that they would see uh, developments in our curricula work. The one was about uh, teaching contents, where we were seeing uh, requests for increasing sustainability aspects in our teaching, uh, new modern teaching methods. But what was most important here in regarding the uh, food design factory was that uh, the students were requiring more uh, working life uh, connections and interdisciplinary uh, work and interdisciplinary studies within the, in their uh, curricula. They wanted to uh, learn the ability to speak across disciplines and cooperate uh, with the industry. So this was very strongly our driver number one. There were additional drivers also. We were seeing uh, similar requests from the side of the teachers. Also teachers were expressing the need for flexible cooperation with companies and research institutes and designing larger modules, not by disciplines, but cross-disciplinary modules. Additionally, there are external drivers in the country. There's a competition between universities. And here in the Helsinki region, uh, there is a big technical uh, university, including kind of technical um, disciplines, which are uh, complementary to uh, our university, our faculty disciplines. And there's a competition between uh, the applicants in the country. We are also having student employability as one of the national uh, funding criteria by the Ministry of Education and Culture. Uh, and also uh, we are willing to increase still further the projects and cooperation with the industry because that's also part of the, the external funding and uh, cooperation projects that we are running with the industry. 
we started creating an education module for all students and we did a module of entrepreneurship and innovations, 15 ECTS credits for all our students. And this is kind of not a subject specific module, but it's uh, for all, all the students in the food, sec uh, food dis connected disciplines and, and forestry and uh, economics and agriculture, the ones that we are hosting in the faculty. Uh, included in the, in the module, uh, there's a, a pre-germinator study module, which I will be uh, telling more in detail for you. In addition, we did some extra innovation education pilots, which are kind of temporary pilots and, for example, an EIT project to learn and, and to find uh, good connections. This is how we uh, the module we created a year ago looks like, and it will be we have been piloting the courses, but it will be in full action uh, starting next academic year in September. And the core courses are leading innovations in practice and me as a change maker course. And these two are compulsory for the students uh, who select this module. This is all uh, free choice studies for the students. So not a compulsory, but an option for those interested with a very low threshold. Me as a change maker is a course that is uh, the main goal is to inspire the students. So uh, we wish that they, they learn innovativeness and get gasoline for creative, valuable ideas. So it's about idea creation. It's a lecture course, so no, not a, a hands-on course, but uh, learning how to produce ideas and, and put them forward. And from this course, uh, the students who uh, wish to continue and uh, put forward their ideas with hands-on working, they may apply to the next uh, level or the next step in the progress. So uh, the students may uh, either apply as, as individuals and we make them into teams and groups, or they may uh, form their own, own teams and apply to the pre-germinator course um, uh, and and we uh, select the best teams to join the vision that we are we have the pre-germinator is to yearly grow from three to seven uh, student groups and their ideas towards innovations and so to support them act as dynamic makers and in the community and in the food innovation sector and how we do this is in the pre-germinator so uh, on the left hand you see the, the module i was describing and and the me as a change maker course where uh, the next step is to join the pre-germinator. All the other bubbles and parts in the picture are the ones that are kind of for the uh, for the researchers and for the companies. So it's the incubator. So only the pre-germinator is kind of a, a curricular activities of the design factory. But to show uh, show you the kind of the, the entity and also the possibilities for the student teams to, to get forward towards uh, having their own uh, financial and, and company ideas. The pre-terminator is, is a program for educating and coaching the enable to enable, develop and crystallize uh, students' ideas. And this is a uh, within the food system. In the later phases, we are also producing a or creating a platform for uh, wood and forest context, but this, this time we started with uh, the food innovations. 
Uh, it's a, a program running for six, seven months. Uh, and the core activities is first a team strengthening, inspiring and ideating, experimenting. So the students also have uh, labs in their use uh, in, in the food technology department. They get coaching. We have mentors from the industry working with the students. They make uh, company visits. Uh, they may test and network with the food professionals in the companies. And then in the very end, they present their ideas and their uh, minimum viable products for the audience. So this is not only a course, but it's also a kind of concrete facilities here in week. So, so they have the lab uh, facilities in their use with there's no, no charge for the students. We also have a test lab and we have a lunch restaurant which can be used for uh, testing. And there's a community space meeting rooms for the students. And also we have uh, undergraduate teaching assistants uh, which are kind of uh, running the, and the community space and team building. So in a nutshell, the pre-germinator, it's a program for educating and coaching. They start uh, from the change maker course with their idea, they apply, they go through the, the pre-germinator program and they un end up with a roadmap, MVP and a pitch. And they have the possibility to continue their to have in the investor contact startup services incubators and accelerators at this university. Uh, some statistics about our, our course. So uh, in the change maker course, we had have like uh, 70 students one third of them being international students. They formed uh, 14 groups. They are very interdisciplinary. So there's uh, students from several uh, faculties in this university. Uh, in, the, in, in the actual uh, hands-on pre-germinator, we selected six groups from the applicants. And we also uh, recruited mentor, mentor companies to work with the students. They make excursions in the in the companies, and they have uh, facilitators for all the work that they are doing. The cornerstones that we set, like when when starting the. Uh, planning of the whole uh, activity are seen here, the empowerment, showing how to do uh, and walking aside. So the students are not left alone, but the, we work, walk and work, work with them along so that they can make their ideas into big ideas and find the Eureka effect. Thoughts about the enablers, how we uh, ended up here and what, what helped uh, us to, to kind of make, make this all come true. Uh, there was a introduction of the position of uh, so-called professors of practice at this university. So it was a, a new um, possibility for us to recruit very uh, talented and experienced persons from the industry. Uh, they have the doctoral degree, so they have their um, experiences of research work, but they have uh, had their careers in the industry. And we are we uh, recruit them with a fixed term contract, half time, and for three or four years. So, and, and they are the persons who are running the pre-germinator and they are the, the valuable teachers and uh, 
kind of the enthusiastic uh, and experienced who uh, run the germ pre-germinated program. Uh, also, the developments here in the Viki area has been a enabler. So the city of Helsinki is uh, investing in uh, developing this, uh, both the residential area, but also the campus area and uh, industry has also uh, possibilities to, to find their way here and, and have their uh, facilities in Viki. We have been receiving funding from the city of Helsinki for the development work and also for the uh, building up the food design factory. And there has been very strong support from the university leadership and also uh, funds provided by the rector for this initiative. The key persons behind one of our professors of practice is Reetta Kivela. Uh, who has been working now for three years with us and will be um, returning to the industry after this period. Uh, she's an uh, expert in food technology and, and oat, pro oat processing, and she's one, one of the, um, she created with her colleague this um, meat substitute from oats and faba bean. Uh, and she has been the founder in several startups. So she was the very key person here, together with Laura Forsman, who also has uh, her career uh, in the food uh, business. And uh, she has been also uh, very active here in, in creating the food design factory, and especially the incubator uh, parts of it. challenges or hindrances, what, what was difficult in the progress. The key persons, the very important ones, are fixed, uh, are, are recruited with fixed term contracts, which uh, might be a problem when if there is uh, too much turnover in the staff. But it's also a possibility because we get a, a kind of new experience flowing in. Uh, we are seeing that the pressure to gr grow fast and show impact in order to guarantee future funding is, is very uh, a big load because uh, education does not provide quick changes. For example, the employability or the graduate satisfaction, it takes time to, to, to grow so that it can be really um, seen as, as one of the results of the activities we are providing. There might have been some friction between uh, the teaching and lab staff and the, the staff and operations of the food design factory, because we had to kind of convert some of the traditional labs into innovation and testing labs. So there were kind of uh, different needs for the uh, facilities. But now we have been able to overcome this with negotiations and providing also kind of a larger variety of facilities. And also we have uh, needed a lot of time for uh, making good connections and coordinating with the activities of the university level innovation and development program. Uh, the big, biggest benefits and gains is the student uh, satisfaction, student engagement and enthusiasm that we are seeing, for example, in the uh, pre-germinator gala, some pictures from the gala. For example, the students were uh, pitching and, and uh, we were able to taste their acorn bread. We have uh, updated our curricula. Uh, and we are seeing that it is receiving interest from the applicants and from the students, also from the other faculties. So there's pressure to uh, accept uh, more and more students for the activities. And we have been able to create uh, the very strong collaboration and systematic collaboration with industry. And for example, the mentor program was very successful. So these are the main uh, contact persons 
for the activities we have been running. So, uh, and I've been uh, responsible for kind of the, the curricular development work, the real work in the week if Wood Design Factory has been uh, conducted mainly by, by these uh, key persons. <clears throat> 